Hey, Mike Wrigley here again, your certified default advocate and distressed property expert. Welcome to our video blog. Today we're going to talk about who owns the loan and why it makes a difference. As you probably know, the bank you are making the payments to seldom actually own the loan or note as it's referred to. When the bank does own the note, that type of loan is called a portfolio loan because it's held in the bank's own investment portfolio. For the most part, your bank is more than likely acting as a servicer, meaning they made or bought the loan or note and turned around and sold the debt to an investor. But it's getting paid, the bank is getting paid to service the loan, meaning collect the payments and take a fee for doing so. Why is it important to know who holds the note on your property? It's important because with all the good intentions of the federal government and their attempts at, at mortgage relief, none of it makes any difference if the investor does not participate in the program. HAFA, HAMP, HARP2, if the negotiator, if, excuse me, if the investor is not participating, it doesn't make a difference. So who are the investors, you ask? Good question. The two largest investors are Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, both government service entities or GSEs. Fannie and Freddie are quasi-private corporations backed by the federal government. That's right, me and you. Other investors could be mortgage-backed securities or union pension funds or the teacher's fund or something of the like. Here are the facts about Fannie and Freddie. Backed by our tax dollars, they hold approximately 60% of all home loans and, and foreclose faster than any investor. That's right, they foreclose faster than any investor. Getting an extension on a foreclosure on a Fannie or Freddie loan is next to impossible. Several times we've received our short sale approval within a week of the foreclosure date and Fannie went ahead and foreclosed on us anyway. Never mind the fact that it costs them an average of 20 or 25 percent more to foreclose than to accept a short sale. On a $200,000 short sale, that's $50,000 of our tax dollars wasted when they could have given us 30 days to close the loan. Pretty crazy, but I'll tell you, I'll tell you this because if you're considering a short sale, it's important that you know who the investor is. If you have a GSE back loan and you've received a notice of default, you're going to have to move fast or you're going to lose the property to foreclosure, and that's a fact. You can find out real easy who owns your loan. Go to FannieMae.com, FreddieMac.com, or give me a call. Enter your information, and the websites will tell you or will tell you if your Fannie is Freddie backed. As certified default advocates, it's important for us, uh, it's important for us to, for you to know and understand all of your options. For a free consultation, please contact my office at the number below. Call me today. You'll sleep better tonight. You'll be glad you did. I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us.